Where's the fun in having a bridge if you can't stop people from coming across it? Now this bridge is tileable, which means you can make it as wide as you want, but it can only be 10 blocks long. So for each one wide bridge you're gonna make, you're gonna need all of this. And then in general, you're gonna need two buttons, a ton of blocks, a ton of redstone, a ton of torches, and a ton of repeaters. All this depends on like how big you make your thing. So I'll begin by building the bridge. I'm just gonna go up a little bit. Doesn't really matter how far. And let's make a three wide bridge. We're going to make five right here. And then we're going to cover it in slabs and this is what you'll stand on. And then those 15 blocks underneath will be pushed out. So they'll go one, two, three, four, five. And the other one will go five, four, three, two, one. And we'll build the same thing right here. So now let's build the flying machines underneath. We're going to start with this one. You're just going to have your slime blocks like that, with an observer and sticky piston like this, and then honey blocks like this, and then your observer and sticky piston like that. You can use honey here if you want, and then just use slime on this one. Just make sure you don't use the same one on both of them. And now for the next one, we're going to do the same thing, but swap these for honey. Swap that for slime, and then let's put these blocks in here, like that. And then once again, flip them like this, and build your third flying machine. And then you'll want to do the same thing on the other side, but make sure they're opposite again. So I have honey in the middle there, so let's do slime in the middle here. And then again, you want to invert them, so we'll do this. There we go. And then real quick, we want to break these observers, but at least now we know where they'll be, so we know how to hook them up. So whenever these flying machines retreat back, we want them to stop here. So you're gonna put obsidian or furnaces or some sort of uh, non-piston pushable block there. And then on top, you're gonna wanna put three redstone dust. Same over here, three redstone dust. And now if you want, you can put your observers back. So now let's hook up our buttons. I'm gonna put them like here, it's probably fine and then the same spot on the other side. And then I'm going to bring them out a little bit. Let's go two like that. Actually, let's just bring them all the way out sideways like this. There we go. We'll do the same on this side. All right. And then hook your redstone dust like this. And then link these together. So now we need to hook these up over to the uh, observers over here. So I'm going to stack these up like this. You're just going to push these up. There you go. And I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. If make sure your repeater is close enough so that it activates all these at the same time. And then the same thing over here, which is right there. And you hook that up. And so now, if we press our buttons, that I didn't put down, if we press our buttons, our bridge will extend. Nice. But now we need a way to send it back. So I'm gonna use pistons this time. So let's stack them up like this. There we go. So if you have the height for it, you can use uh, target blocks with redstone torch towers on top to activate each of these but you want the top one to be off, so I can't do that here. So what I'm gonna do is just have repeaters point into these like this. I'm giving myself enough room down here so that we can have our lava moat right above this. So we'll place these like this, and we'll link this up over here and extend it. And now if we press our button, our bridge should retract. Perfect. So I built a little glass cage here for all the lava. And now next to here, we wanna make sure we use obsidian or furnaces or something, just to make sure this doesn't stick to the wall. And then so the lava doesn't spill out, we wanna make a little like retaining pouch thing to catch it in. And then make sure this is also made out of those blocks you're using. So let's make that real quick. All right, and now we can fill this with lava. Make sure you place blocks where your bridge is gonna go inside your lava so that uh, no accidental lava changes update your observers halfway through and break your bridge like just happened to me. <laughs> so make sure your lava has this little indent in it. So now if we press our button, our bridge will extend. There we go. And if we press it again, it will retract. I think that's worth subscribing. Now, if you're interested in something like that, 
You might like a hidden chess room that's something like this. 